Hello to all of the members of the Gamma Optimizer Trading Room. Welcome back. This is my second tutorial. It has been quite some time since the first one. I hope you're having fun playing with the optimizer. This is an interesting tutorial because uh, I am using it to showcase a new functionality that I just added to the optimizer and that is the ability to design the best hedge for a core position that you have. Uh, recently in the EWT trading room, the, the, the one where we all hang out, <laughs> there has been plenty of discussions about how to pick the best strike, how to design a hedge for a particular position, if something is going to drop, what kind of options, what kind of a strike, how many, what is the cost. So instead of answering the questions one by one, because I have been asked by many people about this, I just decided to add functionality to the optimizer and also to show you how to use it. So without further ado, here is a here is the gamma optimizer with the new hedging uh, capabilities. So because of the topical discussion or oh, the topic of du jour right now is the metals the metals complex gold and GDX. So let's design a hedge for GDX. I guess some people are worried about that. So we just come to the optimizer and you know it looks looks exactly the same, nothing has changed, but if we come here to the type of plot, I have added a tier one called a hedge. So if you want to run a hedge analysis, you come here to type of plot, click hedge, and that's it. So of course, uh, I mean, I don't think er anyone will hedge a move up in GDX, although I mean, if you're short, you will do it, no? But let's assume that we are long GDX and we just want to hedge some kind of, uh, or exposure to a down downside move. So you select the move you want to hedge. I mean, we are going to hedge a move down that because we are long. If you are short, you hedge a move up. And this is the interesting part, of course, uh, there is a whole bunch of hedging theory behind this, but I, I'm not going to explain it in detail, but but in general lines, there is no such thing as a perfect hedge. I, I hope you're aware of that. I mean, hedging perfectly a position implies basically getting rid of it. So <laughs> if you realize a perfect hedge of a position is no position. So you have to compromise. I mean, you cannot, you have to hedge starting or let's say you have to hedge optimal hedging for a certain number of points if you say oh no i want to hedge for any kind of downside it's impossible if you want to hedge for any kind of downside just close your position that's 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 how it is done but let's say that you you are able to to weather down certain kind of moves but I, once you get a certain percentage move down you start to worry and I say no I, this is too much for me or I, I'd rather have protection so GDX is hovering around 19 right now so let's assume that your crying uncle point is like three points down okay so you, you are going to protect again some move of three points down and and then, of course, very important, uh, the stop risk parameter, by the way, is, is ignored completely in this analysis. So there is no need for it. Trade duration is very important in, in hedging because you cannot hedge indefinitely. I mean, you have to, it's like an insurance policy. No, hedging is it's like buying insurance. You cannot say to the guy, oh, give me an insurance for the rest of my life. You know, it will cost you an infinite amount of money. Or, or I mean, your life is not infinite, but uh, it will cost you a gigantic amount of money, I guess, probably more than what your position is worth. So you also have to compromise in the trade duration. As you might imagine, the shorter the time frame you're insuring, the cheaper it is, no? So this is kind of a game where you are balancing. It's a balancing act. You are compromising on hedging a certain type of down move because then, you know, you, you're sacrificing a little bit there. And also you're sacrificing in the duration because you have to pick a duration. I mean, I want to hedge for what? For a whole week. I want to hedge for two weeks. I want to hedge for a whole month. And and, and I know, and you know, I, you, you know that the longer you hedge, the more expensive it will be. 
So let's say because you have an edge and you kind of know that the this situation, this this particular move down will happen immediately or you know it's an imminent move down or it's it's very close to where we are. So let's hedge for just for a single week. You know, seven days. Let's say okay, this this move down it might happen within the, the next seven days. And if it doesn't happen, perfect. That means that we don't need to hedge anymore. No, like that that means that that GDX will go to the moon as you guys say. So those are the parameters of our trade. Let's go over them again. We, we expect a move down. We expect three points down. We want to hedge three points down for seven days. And I just plot. And let's see what the optimizer does. So optimizer does some kind of magic. And the graphic is slightly different to the graphics that we have seen for um, total return. So here, the x-axis is still the same is we get strikes on the x-axis but the y-axis is different this is the total hedging cost this is what cost me in raw dollars to hedge my position of course i don't know how many shares of gdx you have no so all of these computations are done for a portfolio of 100 shares so this is what will cost to protect 100 shares of gdx from a three point move down so the cost to protect you can see it here i mean <laughs> like it is like tw more than 1000 bucks i mean the maximum loss in this is 300 bucks so there is no point to pick anything above 300 dollars you know it will cost you more to protect <laughs> than what you will lose so uh, if for for the people for those of you that are really observant you will notice that the best hedge is the cheapest one that's the best hedge, you know. How cheap can you get in this thing? So the table is actually showing you that. The table is showing you more or less the same, the options with the strikes, but it's showing you a cost, and this is the total cost. And uh, of course, I have generic commissions included. This is com comes included. Like I'm using some kind of like, um, you might have a very sweet deal in commissions, but I'm being really worst case scenario here in commissions like they are really taking advantage of you it's just because some options are so cheap that commissions actually start eating into them so oops, let's look at the table the table show, shows the top three options for to hedge this move uh, the top three are of course as you will imagine are the shortest possible expiration which is 12 days you know this is the shortest possible for gdx uh, because those will be the cheapest one and you see the cost goes from 38 bucks 42 42 so so it gives you a really nice idea and it gives you the strike that you should use for the puts no these are those are puts but also it tells you how many contracts you have to open to actually fully hedge the 100 shares so here it's telling you to pick the 16.5 strike puts expiring on december the 30th it will cost you 38.67 and you have to open 4.8 of course you know sadly the market doesn't sell yet fractional contracts but <laughs> we never know we never know cbo in my add in at some point so you kind of round you know round to the nearest number i mean if you round up you are you are over hedging a little bit and if you round down you are kind of letting a little exposure so it's up to you if you want to uh to over hedge or under hedge so so here i mean we could put five contracts and we're not over hedging by too much so in this case, if we buy five puts of the 16.5 strike, it will cost us $38.67 bad. It will protect, fully protect, a portfolio of 100 shares from a move of three points down. That's the magic. Of course, I am showing you more just in case you want to pick something else. If you don't like any information from the table, like let's say you hate expiration for December the 30th, I mean, it's a bad luck date. I don't know. Or you don't like any of my suggestions. You can come here to the plot and 
explore it, no? Like, I mean, right now the suggestions are all along this particular line, the red line. If I hover about it, you will see kind of like the strike information, the extra information. You see, it's the same information that I am presenting on the table. This one is the smallest one right here. I chose me the expiration. I, I, I add a couple more things. It shows me the hedge cost, the total cost, the number of contracts, of course, and in, like in a little more precision. And it also shows me the row profit per option. So the profit per option is like 62 cents. That's why you have to multiply by 4.832 uh, to actually arrive at $3 now, because you're actually losing $3 per, per contract. So you can get extra information. You can explore other expirations, and you will notice that they are substantially more expensive. Uh, so, for instance, this is January 27. It costs 128 dollars to to hedge. But if you want to, you want a white pay less kind of person. So just go here, no. <laughs> uh, and you will notice that there are some expiration lines that are not even worth considering. For instance, here the cheapest one costs you 532 bucks. This is some. This the expiration is a leap. This is those are leaps that expire on. January 2018. So I don't know if you notice that the cost of the hedge is actually higher than the cost of the loss that you will incur. I mean, the maximum loss from 100 shares of GDX dropping three points is 300 bucks. So here uh, you will be paying 500. So don't even consider it. That's why I only show the best ones because. Uh, you know, there is no point on hedging with something that is so expensive. So, if you want to identify visually, you kind of look for whatever it is the, the at the bottom here. No, whatever it is at the bottom is the cheapest strike. For instance, in this expiration line, which is um, January 6 of next year, the hedge, the cost of the hedge is fifty-eight dollars. No, it's a little, it's a little more expensive. Well, I mean, a lot more expensive than 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 the ones I am offering you for December period. So this is um, how it works. So you see the cost. Notice that if I increase the protection, let's say that I go instead of one week, I do two weeks, 14 days, and I run the analysis again. Notice that the cost will go up. You see that it gets more expensive to hedge and on the strikes change, everything changes. So the longer you want the protection, the higher the cost is. There is going to be a point where there is no there is it makes no economical sense to hedge. Let's let's put sixty days and see. Right, right here, for instance, at sixty days, there is no there are there are not a single option <laughs> that will hedge you. Because all of the best hedge are more expensive than the maximum loss, so um, I hope you get that that in your mind that when you hedge, you really have to shoot for really short time frames. I mean, the shortest that you your pain level can tolerate, and there is a maximum number of days. Like if you go over there, you will never, you know, it will not be cost-effective hedge at all. So this is a perfect example why, like um, the professional hedgers, they they consistently hedge, they constantly hedge, they hedge um, every two weeks and they renew the hedges because it's cheaper than than actually hedging the whole thing over. So let's do let's come back to our seven day simulation and let's plot again. So. Uh, so, so, so this is the 38 cost. Now, I'm going to show you why there is no such thing as a free lunch. Like, let's say that we want to hedge one point down. You know, I, I just want to hedge one point down. I am so paranoid. I don't even tolerate one point down in GDX. And you do it. You run the simulation, and it's going to show you the cost. This is outrageously expensive to hedge one point down. I mean. You are going to lose 300 bucks, but you are spending 173, more than 50%. The hedge will be more than 50% of the maximal theoretical loss. This is a waste of money. I mean, you don't hedge for one point. Um, but uh, in the opposite side, like if you hedge for five points, 
which is kind of an outrageous move for something that trades at 19. No, five points is is is, is like 25 percent drop. But let's say, I mean, anything can happen in the metal complex. So if you hedge for five points, you will notice here that the cost drops significantly. So you see why this is a balancing act. Time and the move. Like if you are willing to risk more, like because uh, you are risking more. Like you, you, you are in this case when you hedge like this, which is actually really cheap to hedge. You need the thing to drop five points. If it doesn't drop five points, the hedge will not be complete. I mean, this is in order for the hedge to be complete to fully cover the loss. You have to have at least this move. You know, it could, it could drop 10 points and the hedge will work perfect. But if it drops two, this hedge will not work at all. So options are not linear. And because of the non-linearity, you won't be covered as much as you are covered with five. So right now, w w when you use this option and it drops five points, you will be covered 100% on your 100 shares. But if it drops 2.5 points, uh, options are non-linear, so you don't assume that you are, are covering at half. You're probably covered like a 10% of the total loss. So you see the compromise here. If we drop it to two points only, it will be more expensive than the three, but it's, it's a good compromise. Two points, you see, is 74 bucks, which actually is expensive because the maximum loss is 200, and 74 into 100 is like 35, 37%. I mean, it, it's, it's getting an expensive hedge here. So some things that you have to consider, and you can play with the tool to, you know, the tool will help you with this. Um, the number of contracts here is more for your information because because the commission costs are already included in this computation so you don't have to worry i mean even if it's like 300 contracts here and the costs come really cheap then you know you do it it's because the commissions are already included so it doesn't matter if it's a lot of contracts uh, like in this case you no know, this is four contracts versus two yet the cost is only 74 versus 90. what else in for hedging, I, I think that's it for hedging. I mean, the main idea that I want you to to obtain here is that first, there is no perfect hedge. Second, there is no infinite hedge. You cannot hedge for indefinitely because it gets more and more expensive and it gets to a point as you saw that there are no economical feasible options to hedge. Um, the duration has to be the shortest possible duration that you can tolerate for for the hedge for the move and also the move you cannot be too i mean like a, like too pessimistic with the move like if you put like eight points down it's unrealistic i mean eight points down is kind of a catastrophic drop but at the same time even though it's so cheap but you're pretty much guaranteed to waste this money because you know the odds of uh, gdx dropping eight points I, I hope they <laughs> are not that high. So you have to balance here. You can play with the number. Um, I will say two points, which is around 10%. Uh, no, two points is a 10% is a drop, which is a very high drop. Uh, costs around 74 bucks to, to hedge. So I think this is it for this tutorial. No, uh, I hope you have fun playing with the hedge functionality. Uh, I hope you, by using the tool, you can get a feeling of what is going on under the hood with hedging. Uh, this is an example for hedging a move down, like you are long, but you, you could use it the same thing for a move up. I, there is no problem at all uh, doing it. And thank you again for watching this tutorial. Uh, don't hesitate to ask me questions in the room. You can ask all the questions that you want. I am there to answer them. I hope you have fun, guys. Take care.